free service for him to go to town for. You know, they used the system to suit them. And then this young boat's got a record, so he goes to prison and then he, he subjugated to all of that what happens in there. So you institutionalize them. I don't have to talk all about all of these things, but like I said, back to this, hopefully you can support whatever is there. Um, yeah, look, I might leave it as that, I think. Thanks. Thank you for that. Anyone got any questions? Yes. Can you introduce yourself and ask your question? Yeah, uh, John Capital. Um, I actually worked in the community in 1995, uh, where it all started, I think, um, for Calvary. Spent a year there as an electrician. I know exactly that, what life is like in that. So, Park Island is actually um, in North Queensland, is it? It's, it's, a, it's a community just off town that was um, set up in 1918. Um, you know, when they, um, when you talk about, the, uh, what is it, uh, when colonization, and after colonization, they ran and them all up, put them in specific areas, so they, you know, did. Yeah. So Palm was one of the places after, a place in Tully, which is in North Queensland, um, that the uh, cyclone went through this, so they got them from, see this palm is made up of 40 odd different tribes, plus you got traditional people that live there now, so we're, we're known as the Mulgan people and um, stuff, so we've got about a population of around nearly 4,000 up to 5,000 during Christmas, we have all the problems, we're overcrowding, housing and all this stuff and that, but I tell you what, after what happened in 2004, the government started to put money into the place. You know, we just had about uh, 60 homes built 12 months ago. We got another 60 in the next, in the, within the next 12 months. But before that, we had a shorty of houses where 17 to a house. You know, and. Um, I rate of unemployment. Um, we got look. We got health services. We got education, uh, Catholic and state. But um, they they're subsidised. Well, they're paid for by government. You know. But food is still ridiculously dear. Oh yeah. And it's not fresh like you can go into the bullies and stuff here. That it's bought down in Brisbane, miles away, and it's trucked back out. And the profit that comes out of that twelve million dollar profit goes out and it's distributed amongst the other communities. So the profit doesn't go back into what you know could develop the community in ways. You know, so yeah, we're very yeah a lot of problems. But you know, we struggle and we we're making changes. But that actually sent a message to the government. And um, still, you need millions to. I got Tim, I'm going to have to share the questions around because they've got to go back pretty shortly. Uh, thanks, um, come on, Chair. Tim Gooden, Trey Hall. Um, two quick questions. One is about early and the campaign to get in charge. I know there's a lot of rallies at the time in Brisbane and the Coppers Union raised a million, got all, levied all their, their coppers to his defence. Can you tell us what sort of happened, what happened in the end there? The other thing is your tour that you're doing now, that campaign around the prevention of, is it, um, I see what the, the, the letters and that are on the resolution, but ultimately do you think, well they should have implemented everything from the previous um, Royal Commission Black Test and Custody, but what sort of things that would be needed in Australia today that you'd like to see? that would prevent the TJ Hickeys, the, the Mr. Wards, uh, those sort of issues from happening. Like obviously, we don't need another Royal Commission. But what sort of things do you think should happen? Well, with, uh, look, support true, like it states on, to, to this group, so that I can continue to raise awareness, I suppose. Uh, I want to get back here on the 1st of May. They have another one for the, um, the closing, the, those communities over in Western Australia, South yep. Australia, I think there's, and that's around the um, next Labor Day March, I think, at the same time. And 
uh, I'd like to come down and, you know, uh, have a platform to go over the same thing. But if I don't go over the same thing, people won't be aware of a lot of these things. Um, I know that in my part of the world, when it comes to um, Victoria and Melbourne and stuff, the struggles that, uh, uh, that unions have down here with their members, and, you know, they get publicised more than in Queensland and thing. I, I, I don't know, they seem to relax up there. I think the unions are pretty slack up in those part of the world, I think, and across the country. I, I don't know, that's my own personal thing that I've seen. But, yeah, early in these, um, the police union, they've raised money through um, hand bands and stuff like that. But as part of my campaign is to, um, the other, is the bad, Thing, I suppose in, um, that could go bad for me if we don't, uh, aren't successful in the overall um, uh, case. And thing, one thing good I, if we don't get up on it is uh, I can appeal it. Then if it still goes bad, uh, I could lose my um, uh, uh, superannuation and all of you. That's what we all wait for, you know, in the end. We want to retire. And um, so that's the bad thing on my behalf. But I don't know if I answered any thing. Was there something else you wanted? No, that's about it. Was it so early enough to get, get an off or go Oh, yeah, he, 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 got he got promoted. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and he lives in a million dollar mansion on the Gold Coast. Uh, he actually received three lots of compensation, and when it was made known publicly, they said it was due to money that the police union raised for him, but that's not the case. But they still got away with everything. He got promoted, and all the officers that come on, uh, that was on the island at the time, when I, uh, the uh, police station, and that they were, after I was found guilty, they were all promoted and given um, uh, Award bravery awards for nothing at all, but and promotions and stuff like that. So yeah, and uh, look, uh, within days they just took away the crime scene for the death and custody. They removed the whole police station off the armor instead of leaving it there and fully investigating it. Uh, you had uh, the fire forensics said they couldn't find out where the fire started. They had their own fuel depot inside the um, police station. So you got to think about all of that stuff. And we had no fuel on the island days before. And fuel was actually supposed to be given out after that meeting because there was a stuff up with the trading service. They put the fuel in the wrong tank and someone had to come over and change the bowels of the rest so they could pump the fuel, give out distribute fuel, so everyone was pretty low on fuel. So there's a lot of conspiracy as to what really happened. But yeah, I admit I did what I did, but they couldn't even actually prove that. I, I wasn't guilty until they found me guilty, but they couldn't even prove that. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that if I didn't do what I did, then they would just cover it up and like they did for 300 Oh, 300, 300 and something deaths right across the country. What it did was open up a can of wheel. It was exposed to the wider public that, you know, you spent billions, millions of dollars on a royal commission and arrest was the last resort. All this bloke was doing was walking along, drunk, being happy, and all he just said to a police liaison officer, He's one of you, why are you locking him up? They were locking a bloke up that was already on the ground out to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what happened, you know? But anyway. Yep. Ha, 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 ha.
the Aboriginal community is in Western Australia, but I wish I had known about this. I could have put this forward earlier because the motion's closed yesterday. However, um, I'll email this to our secretary and see what can, we can do. Yeah. It is fantastic and it's great that you're getting around and um, if you can get to the Victorian Trades Hall Council to spread it around, that would be even better. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. What, I think, yeah, what's this?